Okay, it's time for the last adventure, which is getting this massive cable bundle through the back of the printer bot here and all the way along and through this tiny hole here into the printer board cavity. So, if you try to thread them through on their own, it's never going to work. What we're going to need is our tape and three zip ties. One, two, three. So connect two zip ties together like this so that they make a couple of clicks and they're really strongly connected. Then get rid of the tip here. We're not going to need it and straighten it out as best as you can. This is our secret pulling tool. Now with the printer bot up there like this, carefully feed this zip tie in along the bottom of, along this plate, all the way till it comes out the back. So you should now have this super long zip tie like this. And this is going to be important because this is our special pulling tool. But we have to attach all of our cables to that end in a way that means they're going to go the whole way through. So starting with your largest connectors, which is the, the two stepper connectors, we're going to build a chain gang. So we've got one, two, and then we'll put all the rest of the connectors, one after the other in a line. And what we're going to do with this line is we're going to, of course I can't find the tape, it's here. We're going to tape all of these in a line, one after the other. With all of these securely in, it's time to grab your last zip tie and we're going to use it to zip tie this zip tie onto the back of your cluster. So we're going to pull, tighten this one up just below the head of this guy so that it's well attached and can't leave. Clean it up so it's nice and small. Just one last piece of tape to connect the tip of your tape roll to the tip of the zip tie. And then put this guy up. So you can see it's time to carefully drag this guy through, through the danger zone and wiggle it all the way through and out the other end. success we are through to the other side all right now get rid of the zip ties take off that layer of tape that holds everything together flip your printer board over on its back and carefully make sure all these wires come out far enough some of these are going to be hanging at the back, some are not, so just gently tease them through to get all the cabling the right 
perfection. Make sure they've all got plenty of room on this side. We can tuck the remaining cable in at the end. What matters now is wiring up what's inside this printer board. Okay team, I've changed position for the final bit of wiring just so you can see the circuit board as well as possible. So we've got this massive bundle of wires here. We'll get them all out the way to start and we'll sort this power out. So this down here is the little the little Z probe adapter board and out of that comes this yellow and black guy. This guy plugs into the third one across the bottom. These are all the end stops. So you've got X, Y, Z, and then E stop. Now, being a 3D printer, we never use E stop. And this is from the Z probe. So this goes on the third one along the Z stop. And it's keyed, so there's only one way in it goes like that. Now, this power plug, obviously, it goes into the power adapter up here. And again, it's got a two from one side. There's only one direction it goes in this way. And then eventually, we're going to have to push, bend all these over and twist them out the way so that they don't get in anyone's way. The best way to do that I found was to run the power behind these MOSFETs and in there. And that way this guy will also end up tucked out the way. Next thing we're going to do is plug in all our stepper motors across the top. So in order from this side it goes X, Y, Z, then E for extruder. So, have a look through all your labelled ones and find your nice X end stop here. So, for the X one, the red wire ends up towards the right hand side, so this way. And then making sure it touches all four pins, just gently wiggle it down till it touches the bottom. These guys are quite stiff. The next one is your Y motor, so flick through, find your Y. And your Y goes in the opposite direction. So for the Y motor, the red cable points towards the left. So the red on the X and Y will be looking, will be closest to each other. So carefully wiggle that guy on. So the two red here are touching. Now we're on to Z. And again, we're gonna swap direction. This time the red on the Z points to the right. So find your Z and wiggle it on down and lastly we have the extruder and just for something different we say we change direction again so the red on the extruder will point towards the left towards the red on the Z so we end up with the two reds at the end here meeting and the two reds in the first two meeting so gently push that on and then do your best to tuck all of these extruder wires down at the top and get them all below the base. So this is the base of the printer. We want all these wires nicely restrained out the way. And this leaves us with five cables left to do. Now search for these five cables to find the one that's got two wires in it and it's four pins wide. So mine are red and black. And these actually go to the extruder heater. So if you trace this cable back, it'll go all the way around to the extruder. And this one, there's two places where it could plug in down here, these two MOSFETs. The top one here is for the heater, is for the extruder, and the bottom one's for a heat bed, which we don't have. So take this four pin wide guy and clip it onto the top one here. Once that's done, tuck him down and out the way. And then we can deal with the Z end stop, so the Z probe. The Z probe here, you're gonna to have to look for a three pin connector that has three wires in it. So out of what's left, you'll find there's two three pin connectors. One's got two wires and one's got three. We want the one with three wires and we're gonna plug that in to the Z probe out on board. The one with two wires, which is yellow and black, is actually the Y end stop. So this guy goes in here onto the third, the second one along the Y stop. And just wiggle him in there and click him in. If we clear these wires up and press them in so they look good and out the way. Oh, 
So, bit of a flaky setup here. Get these guys in, out the way. The last two here are a red and black one and a black and white one. The red and black one, you might remember, we plugged into the fan up the other end. So the two pin red and black one goes onto this top header here marked fan. And then just route it out the way. All the way around the top there. Nice and neat. Now this last one, the black and white one, is the temperature probe for the extruder. So the heater's over here to heat the extruder. And this guy measures the extruder temperature. And down here on the right, you'll find T extruder and T bed. So T bed is for if you have heat bed. T extruder is for our extruder. So take this guy over and plug him on there. With that done, we've wired the entire printer board. We just have to get the rest of these wires out the way. Make sure they all end up tucked up neatly. And then we are finished. Last thing we have to do is look at the back of the printer around here. And whatever wires are left hanging out here, we just have to neaten them up and push them back inside. Everything in there, that is the end of the printer bot wiring.